Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about lesson 38, finding an average. So an average is simply the amount uh, you get if you take two or more things and add them together and then divide those up evenly by the number of things you have. So for example, number one says if water is poured from glass to glass until the amount of water in each glass is the same, how many ounces of water will be in each glass? So cup one has four ounces, cup two and cup three both have seven ounces. But if I was to take a little bit of water from cup two and pour it into cup one, and a little bit from cup three and pour it into cup one, until all three had the same amount of water, how much would that be? So there's a mathematical way to figure it out. It's a two-step process. The first step is to add everything up. Add up how much you have all together. So we have four ounces, seven ounces, and seven ounces. Seven plus seven is 14, plus four is 18. Okay, so now my total sum is 18 ounces. And step two is to divide by the number of add-ins. Add-ins are the numbers that you add up. So here I have three add-ins. So I'm going to take my sum, 18 ounces, divide it by three, my number of add-ins, and three goes into 18 six times. So each glass would have six ounces if I was to take and pour some into here. Now I can kind of think about that because if I take one ounce and I subtract it from cup two, I'm left with six ounces. And that one ounce gets moved over here to cup one. So I'm gonna add an ounce, which leaves me with five. And then I'm going to take one ounce from cup three. So now that also leaves me with six ounces. And that ounce is going to get added to cup one. And now I have six ounces in cup one, six ounces in cup two, and six ounces in cup three. So the simple way is to add and then divide. Okay, let's look at example two. Brad's sister timed him as he swam laps. Brad's lap times in seconds are 80, 85, 90, 85, and 90. What is the average of Brad's lap times? So we know that step one is to add. So I'm going to add 80, 85, 90, 85, and 90. Even though two of these repeat, you need to add all of them because each one of these represents one lap. So he swam a total of five laps. So five plus five is 10. Oh, I'm adding. And we have 10, 18, 26, uh, 34, 40, or I say 34, 42. Is that right? Nope, 43. Didn't add right. There we go. Okay, so 430 seconds. Okay, now I take and step two is to divide. So 430 seconds, my sum divided by the number of add ends. One, two, three, four, five. Five goes into 43 eight times. Eight times five is 40. Subtract, bring it down. Five goes into 36 times. So an average of 86 seconds. Okay, so Brad's lap time average was 86 seconds. 
First, I added each of his lap times together, and then I divided by the total number of laps. Okay, that's it. Lesson practice, A through D, and I will see you in the morning.